Jonathan Lee Riches investigates. I am at the most western spot of Pinellas County, Florida, Treasure Island, Florida. It is the most western part of the county, right on the coastline, and you can see they are preparing for Hurricane Ian. Hurricane Ian forecasted right now to be just offshore here, Pinellas County, Florida, Central Florida. It's supposed to actual stall in this area. Wednesday into Thursday, uh, numerous beach erosion expected, storm surge. There's people out here. This is 48 hours before the storm hits. And I'm going to show you the beach right now. Here it is. Here it is. You saw the chairs over there. They 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 brought the chairs in more. I'm going to take you down to this beach. There's some people out here. There's people out here before the storm hits, but 48 hours away, people. It's not a high area. I think the elevation is a few feet. Will this area get battered? Will it get flooded? They took the chairs off shore. I'll be covering this storm in the Pinellas County area. The track as of now, according to the Euro models and the GFS models, uh, they're kind of in agreement at this point. It seems like the storm is going to be just offshore Pinellas County, maybe 50 to 100 miles offshore parallel and then go up towards Cedar Key, which is a few hours north. Um, I might go up to Cedar Key. It seems like that's where the storm will be. Now, when it's in this area, it's supposed to be Cat 2, Cat 3 right offshore, stall a little bit, and then head north. By the time it hits the Cedar Key, would be a Cat 1. That's the forecast as of now. But you see people out here. This is 48 hours and people are already sunbathing. They're sunbathing. Sunbathing. Getting some sun. Waves look calm. And look over here. They're actually brought, they brought in the chairs and the canopies. Keep them off. Sure. Bring them in. They're bringing them in. They're bringing them in. See what's going on over here. Let's just ask for sure. Ask this guy here doing. Hi, guy. Did you, uh, is this for, because of uh, the hurricane? Yeah. So normally these are on? Yeah, on the beach. Wow, okay. How long it takes us to get these back on the beach. Hopefully it's just a day. Yeah. It isn't destroyed. What do you think is going to happen? Well, I was in here last year for the hurricane, or a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. But seaweed was like this tall. This yeah. Up. I mean, you couldn't even walk through it. It smelled. But for some reason, a miracle happened with the tide. Mm -hmm. a massive tide came in and took everything away. But it took two weeks for that to happen. Yeah, they say the storm might stall a little bit offshore. Yeah. So if it does, you know, a lot of beach erosion and storm surge. Yeah, hopefully none of that happens. Has it ever flooded in this area, like all inland here a little bit? You don't know most about that stuff. Are hey, you? how are you? Good. So storm's coming, right? Is this, uh, is this going to be safe here, you think? Yeah, uh, just out of curiosity, who are you with? What's Under that? Pressure. Yeah, I'm with uh, Original Media Group, covering the storm. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, yes, uh, everything should be good up here. Just got to be with the higher higher ground, and we'll just drop it all down. It'll be fine up here. Sounds good. You guys be safe. Thanks, you too, buddy. Stay safe. So, yeah, preparations right now for Hurricane Eon. Ion, I-A-N. You can pronounce it however you want to. They are preparing. They are preparing. They're bringing the tents and the canopies offshore. This is the right off the main road here, Treasure Island. This is one of the westernmost points 
in Pinellas County, Florida. It's calm right now. See, 48 hours away. 48 hours away. What's going to happen here? What is going to happen? So, subscribe to my channel. Like, hit the notification button. I'll be covering the storm. I'll be going up and down the coast. I'm going to be in clear water for the next day. Kind of seeing what kind of preparations people are making. What everyone's attitude is before the storm. And then we'll see what happens. Hopefully it stays offshore in this area. But on the flip side, if it stays offshore here, someone's going to get hit somewhere in the Gulf. So that's not good. You know, a lot of times you say you don't want it to hit your area, but when you say that, it actually most likely hits another person's area, so they get affected. So I'm out here, beautiful, beautiful Treasure Island, Florida. Everyone be safe and pray.